What's going on, tech fans? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. We have all the tech, all the time. I'm Elric, your host, and today we have something very interesting to look at. The other day, I had to go to the mall to get my phone transferred to my Note 2, and I had to get a new screen protector put on it. But while I was there, the guy who was working there said, hey man, we got this new speaker that just came out from TrueSound that's actually a really, really good product. And I was like, well, what is it? And he's like, oh, you know, you've seen all these other products out there, the pill and like the one that we previously did here, you know, we've showed you some of these little mini speakers. Well, this thing is actually really, really impressive. It's right here. It's the ST Audio TrueSound. Now, this is a wireless Bluetooth digital subwoofer speaker system. That's right. Now you can put a little micro SD card in it or you can do it wirelessly through your Bluetooth which makes it actually kind of cool because all you got to do is store all your music on a little tiny thing, pop it in here and then away you go. Now this thing's coming to market at about $60 to $80 but from what I've seen and heard I think it's actually a really good product. For one thing it's more portable than anything you've seen out there. Battery life is extremely long, 8 to 9 hours and it charges back up in about an hour. That's pretty cool. So you get USB charged in about an hour and you're back up and going for eight hours. Not bad at all, right? So anyways, this one's pretty simple. Like they have a bunch of facts on it. You know, I'm going half blind, but Hi-Fi Bluetooth mini subwoofer speaker, 3D digital dynamic base engine technology, super shock, high quality sound, 35 millimeter auxiliary in jack, micro USB charging, micro SD card stick, LED light on and off switch and a built-in microphone all as well. So I'll show you guys the box. You can see that shizzing for yourself, but there's the front of the box. Here is the side of the box that's actually important. So I'll have the cameraman zoom in there and get a nice close-up angle. We'll leave that on screen so you guys can check that out. Now folks, let's move over to the table and let's do the unboxing. Not much to it, but anyways, let's do it. All right, folks, so like usual, always a box within a box. So here's the box. And then inside, obviously, we're going to have another box. Voila! Right off the back, we have a little black magic bag. <sighs> Nothing's inside. Oh, how disappointing. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so we got the nice little velvet black bag. We have instruction guides for the ST Audio instruction guides, all that good stuff. Our cabling. Right there, we got our little 35 millimeter jack and our micro USB to standard USB for our charging. And then we have the unit itself. Now, this thing's very, very heavy in my hand. It's not lightweight at all. So I'm going to try to get the camera and I'm going to set this down. That way, the camera can get nice close ups of everything for you folks. All right, folks, so right here on the side, we have all the control buttons right here. You have your volume up, and you, when you actually hold it, the volume will change. We'll get to that in a second when we do the sound test. Power. Okay, see it turned on right there. Now there's a little switch on it also. We'll turn that off. We'll do the sound check afterwards. <laughs> a little premature there. We had a little premature sound sound gelation there uh, going on there. You guys can see numbers all the way across here. Here is the micro SD, 35 millimeter. Spin it around. This, like we said, is the power and control. It actually chooses between having the SD card in it, which I actually opened it up earlier and put the micro SD card in it with some of my music so we could do a sound check, but it works with that or your Bluetooth. So if you got your phone or whatever, you hook it up. Now, one thing, folks, check out the speaker. This is the speaker right here. It's inside here. It's, you know, upward shooting. The bass is actually down here in the bottom. And if you hold this in your hand, you can really hear and feel the music. It's very, very loud and fills the room. So now let's move on. I'm going to set this thing up and then we'll give it a sound test for you folks so you can let me know what you think. All right, folks. So now let's give this little thing a test drive. Give it a little turn on right here. It's going to reset itself. And here we go. I want to 
dangerous and walk away But that was many yesterdays Not so long ago He walked a path though not alone To a place so far from home You got on a plane Never to be seen again We are just waiting Like I said, the volume is on the side. It's kind of a little bit of a hold on Ah, all right, I see how it's going now, folks. I'm a little bit blind here. So let's try this again. That's turning the volume down. There's a little volume down here, volume up here. I want the good that walk away, but that was many yesterdays, not so long ago. You walked a path, though not alone, to a place so far from home. You got on a plane, never to be seen again. We are just waiting, anticipating. I like that song. All right, folks, so you guys heard this thing. Personally, I feel that for the money and for the size, this thing definitely wins an editor's choice here on Tech of Tomorrow, man. I mean, I'm impressed with this thing. It plays music very loud, very clear, even at full volume. It actually does fill a small room with sound. I was in the mall, and they have a little train running around the Pointe Hills Mall. And even though the train was running, I could still hear this thing playing music with the train going along. So, you know, I say this thing's a solid product. Check it out for yourself at the mall. They'll turn one on for you and let you hear it. I think you'll be impressed. See you guys later. Today's like a winner is like, um, like, yeah, a, a dude from Canada. Uh, his name is uh, uh, Thomas Kennedy, and he's from Canada. And he's our winner of the 12 Days of Christmas. A, don't forget to subscribe.